All right, in this video, we're going to do EOC review number 15. So in this review, we're talking about both arithmetic and geometric sequences. Arithmetic sequences are when we are adding or subtracting numbers from a sequence. And geometric is when we are multiplying. So let's first look at arithmetic sequences. First, we have our explicit formula. And our explicit formula is the most useful of the two. That's when we have our a sub n. Remember, our a sub n is any number in a sequence. Our a sub 1 is the first number in the sequence. Our n, again, is standing for any number. And then our d is standing for the common difference. Now, when we learn this, we have that d in front of the n minus 1. Okay, then we have our recursive formula. And I'm going to highlight the recursive formula in this ugly orange because I hate the recursive formula. This is the one that I tell you is useless because we have to know the previous term in order to use it. So again, this a sub 1 just means the first term in the sequence. The a sub n is still any number in the sequence. And the D is still our common difference. However, the reason why I hate this recursive formula is because that A sub N minus 1. So that means that I have to know the previous term in order to find the next term. Well, if I know the previous term, then it's not that hard to figure out the next term as long as I know what the common difference is. Okay, and this D, this common difference, is what's telling me it's the arithmetic sequence. So in number one, it says write an explicit formula to represent three, five, seven, nine. Okay, so I'm using the explicit formula. And first I have to determine what my D is. So 3 to 5, I added 2. 5 to 7, I added 2. 7 to 9, I added 2. So my common difference is a positive 2. My A sub 1, my first term in the sequence, is equal to 3. Okay, that 3 is my first term. So now to write the formula for this, I'm going to have a sub n, because that's any number in the sequence, and that's going to equal 3, my first term, plus 2, because that's my common difference. And that's going to be multiplied by n minus 1. So whatever n is, is what we would be looking for. Now, we can simplify this, okay? So when we're finding the explicit formula, we can simplify. And we simplify by distributing that 2. So we're going to have 2n minus 2, and then we still have this 3. So now we can combine our like terms and we get um, 2n minus 2 is 1, so we're going to have 2n plus 1 is our explicit formula for this sequence. Okay, make sure you simplify once you've written out your explicit formula. Now for the recursive formula, 
to represent the same sequence. You see here, we're still doing the same thing. We're just showing you now the recursive formula, that useless formula. My eighths of one is still equal to three. My common difference is still equal to a positive two. Now the difference here is to find my nth term, so a sub n, it's going to equal my a sub n minus 1, which I don't know my previous term because I don't know what term they're looking for, plus 2. So that's as much as you can do with the recursive formula. There's no way to simplify it. And again, this a sub n minus 1 just stands for your previous term. And we don't know what that is unless we know what a sub n is. All right, now let's go look at our geometric sequences. That's when we're multiplying by a common ratio. So our explicit formula is our a sub n. So we have our a sub 1. And again, my a sub 1. My a sub n is still the same as any number in a sequence. My a sub 1 is my first term in the sequence. My r is equal to my common ratio. And then the n minus 1 is we're just taking that any number. So whatever number we're finding, and then we're subtracting 1 and the reason why we're subtracting 1 is because we've already accounted for that with that first term. So that's why we subtract 1 when we raise it to the n minus 1 power. Okay, again, our recursive formula, our a sub 1, same thing. It's just our first term in the sequence. Our a sub n, any term. And then you would, your a sub n minus 1, that's equal to your previous term. Again, we cannot find anything with the recursive formula and know, unless we know the previous term, hence the reason why it's useless. So in number 3, we need to write an explicit formula to represent 3, x, I mean 3, 6, 12, 24. So what is the ratio here? Well, to go from 3 to 6 and 6 to 12, I had to multiply by 2. And 12 to 24, I multiplied by 2. So my ratio is going to equal 2. My a sub 1 is equal to 3 because that's my first term in the sequence. And so my formula is going to be a sub n is equal to 3 multiplied by 2 to the n minus 1 power. There's no way to simplify that because 2 is raised to a power. I cannot multiply that by 3 because my exponents have to be done first. Okay. Number four, it wants me to use that recursive formula to write um, the equation for this sequence. So it's the same exact sequence, so I'm still multiplying by 2. So my ratio is equal to 2. And when I write that out, I'm going to have a sub n is equal to a sub n minus 1 multiplied by 2, which is my ratio. All right, now let's go ahead and look at numbers 5, 6, and 7 to see if we can use the information that we just reviewed to help us solve. So Amber's mom agrees to increase her allowance every year. The graph that shows what she's agreed to is to the right. Write a recursive 
formula to represent the situation. So if this is my graph and I need to write a recursive formula, the first thing I'm gonna look at is my initial value. And my initial value here is five. So that's telling me my a sub one is equal to five because that's my initial term, my y-intercept. Now my a sub n would be any number in the sequence. And because I'm using the recursive formula, I'm just gonna have a, the n minus one, which is the previous term, multiplied by the ratio. Well, how can I figure out the ratio from a graph? Well, I went from 1, 10. See here, my value here is 10. And my next value is 20. So how did I go from 10 to 20? How did I go from 20 to 40? Well, from 10 to 20, I multiplied by 2. From 20 to 40, I multiplied by 2. So that means that my ratio is equal to 2. So to finish off my recursive formula here, I'm going to have a sub n minus 1 multiplied by 2. Okay, so that means that this is a geometric sequence. And a geometric sequence is the same thing as an exponential function. Okay, number six, Mrs. Smith is making copies of a five inch graph. So that five inches is going to be my initial value. She wants to enlarge it so that the students can see it clearer. If she sets the copier to enlarge it at 135% for each copy, what is the recursive formula for this situation? Again, it's asking for the recursive formula. So a sub n is going to equal a sub n minus 1. And that's just going to be multiplied by the ratio here. And my ratio is equal to 1.35. So a sub n minus 1 multiplied by 1.35. And that's how you write the recursive formula. Number seven, write an explicit formula for the table shown. So if we're writing an explicit formula, I'm going to look at my common difference. And from five to three, I subtracted two. From three to one, I subtracted two. From one to negative one, I subtracted two. So this is an arithmetic sequence. My a sub one, my first term, is five. And my common difference is equal to negative two. So I'm gonna have a sub n is equal to five minus two times n minus one. And then I'm going to simplify. Do not forget to simplify. So I'm going to multiply that negative 2 times the terms in the parentheses, and I'm going to get 5 minus 2n plus 2, because negative 2 times negative 1 is a positive 2, and that's going to be simplified into negative 2n plus 7, because I combined these like terms, and so my final explicit formula is going to be negative 2n plus 7. You could also write it as 7 minus 2n, as long as you understand the difference be that they are the same and they are equivalent. Either form would be fine. 
Okay, number eight, write an explicit formula for the table shown. So I'm going to look here, and from 5 to negative 10 to negative 10 to 20, I'm multiplying by a negative 2. So that means that this is a geometric sequence, and my ratio is equal to a negative 2. And my a sub 1, my first term in the sequence, is going to be 5. So to write my explicit formula for this geometric sequence, I'm going to have a sub n is equal to 5, which is my first term, multiplied by negative 2, because that's my ratio, to the n minus 1 power. All right, that's it for review number 15.